So we're not at a point in science and medicine where we can quite regrow limbs like an arm, finger, etc. But we can regrow portions of your eye. Let me tell you how. One of the newest and most exciting technologies in eye care is regenerative medicine. Yes, regenerative medicine. This is getting your body to heal itself. The way we do this for severe ocular surface disease or dry eye is through amniotic membranes and autoglyph serum. Now, when I'm talking about severe dry eye, I'm talking about chemical burns, people that have lost corneal sensation to their corneas, so they're not producing tears at all. LASIK patients can have this because when you have LASIK, it severs the nerves and it tells your eyes to produce tears. When this happens, the corneal surface will dehydrate and be very hard to see through and it's gonna cause a lot of vision issues. Autoglycerum and amniotic membranes are using the body's own products to heal itself. So autoglycerum is where we actually draw your own blood, spin it down, remove the solid particles and make eye drops out of that serum. This will use for about anywhere from three to six months, four times a day, but it will cause the body to have, regenerate, get that corneal epithelium to regrow and give you back the corneal sensation that you need to function at a high level. Now, amniotic membranes are used from cesarean sessions that are planned, healthy outcomes, and the mom will donate part of the amniotic tissue to science, specifically eye care. We use these membranes in those severe cases to help regenerate the eye. We will put the membrane on, usually with a contact lens, for the course of three to five days. When we take off the contact lens, the membrane is absorbed into the cornea, healed it, and gives you back your vision. So in those severe cases where we don't want scarring, we want to maximize your vision, regenerative eye care is the newest technology that we can utilize. If your eye doctor isn't familiar with this, make sure you talk to a doctor that specializes in dry eye and ocular surface disease. These are things that you need to know to give yourself the best possible vision.